Good morning, geometry students. Last week, um, or at least the other day, we did one of these diagrams here where we have two interlocking triangles. And the construction really centered around dividing this into six equal parts. And we were able to do that with our compass and no measuring at all because a radius of the circle is the same distance as um, the distance between these points. It's a geometric fact. We'll explore that later. But today we're just going to extend that and do another geometry challenge and we're going to do one with five points. Now there are ways to do this with just a compass and no measurements, but we're not going to be ready for that right now. So we're going to use a protractor to get our points evenly spaced around the circle. So you'll need one of those and you'll need your compass also. One of the important differences between these two diagrams, you notice that the, this is like two different triangles, except this one, the, it's sort of the ribbon continues all the way around. So you can't like do it in two different colors to have it stand out. So I did this all in one color, but then I, I used stripes that seemed to kind of make it come out a little bit better. So maybe just using stripes or something to color it, it'd be better than trying to color it with one color or two colors. Anyway, here we go. Um, the first thing you need to do is make a circle. Practicing your circles. And then, um, I forgot to make the center of my circle. If you ever do that, here's a way to find the center. <clears throat> Keeping the radius the same. On the edge of the circle, I'm just going to make a mark, and then somewhere else on the edge of the circle, I'll make another mark. Okay, I do need the center of my circle. So put a dot in there before you make the circle, and you'll be good. Okay, now I'm going to um, measure the points around the circle. So I'm going to start with this point right here. And let's see. Oh, yeah, the circle is 360 degrees. And I want five points, so I'm going to divide that by five. And I should get 72. Okay, well, I'll let you do the math. But anyway, that looks like 72. So I need 72 degrees between these points. So let's start. I'm just going to use this as a line to line things up. Okay, because I need to line up my protractor on that line. And the center goes, of course, right there at the center of my circle. Let me make it a little darker. And the zero lines up there. I'm using the zero. Um, the 180 degrees is here, but make sure you count from the zero. 72 degrees there. And while I have it in position, I may want to um, mark <clears throat> twice 72 degrees, which is 144 degrees. That's right here. Because 72 and 72 is 144. So I get a couple of marks that way. Flip it around, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see. Reading from the zero on the inside, I have... 72. I could mark it here on the outside, but it's two marks past there. And then 144, 140, 144 would be right there. Okay. Now I have that, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> make my, my radius is through those points, and I will have divided this into five equal parts. All right, now we're ready for making the star shape. So remember to go from the point of intersection to the point of intersection here and here. And you're going to make five of these lines. Or maybe ten of these lines, two from each point, I guess.
Maybe it's only five lines because I'm only having to make one on this one and then I'm done. Okay, so it was just five. Because if you count two at each point, then you counted them twice. Okay, now we have our basic diagram and we're going to want to make the inside part. So we need to make another star inside just like we did before and then we're going to do the same erase part. So here it goes. Um, from here, from these points here that I've already kind of established, I'm going to make another star. There we go. Now the erasing comes, and the, the erasing is usually the hardest, but it's the same idea as before. We're going to be starting from the triangle on the inside star and erasing two lines towards the triangle on the outside star. And we have to, I'm just going to mark those so I just remember which ones to do. And all of those other lines also need to be erased too, but um, we'll see from that inside to this outside and then. So you have to kind of get used to this. But if you rotate the paper, you can get that just like that. Okay, and then be carefully erase. So I'm going to erase, I'm actually going to erase everything inside that triangle there. And the two lines that cross and this thing. Now as you go, it's hard to see. So I'm just going to just... Um, you know, say, okay, I didn't do this line. I'm just going to make that nice and dark. And this this thing is going to be nice and dark, too. So I can really see exactly what I erased. And I do that all the way around. Good morning. So, yeah. I think so. Okay, then you have it. Um, let's see. You know, make sure you got all of those things just erased out of there. And then you could um, go over with pen and you could color it. And like I said, um, if you tried to make two colors like this one, it's not going to work. Um, so you're going to be having the whole thing interlocking like one single ribbon going around. So there it is. All right, that's your challenge for today. Good luck.